Hello, friends. Um, so some of you know that I've been gone for the past couple of weeks, and the, some of you, you know that I have been in Japan for the past couple of weeks. Um, yeah, it was just a general family trip with me and my parents, and not for any specific purpose. But while I was there, I did pick up some paints, and the next few weeks are going to be about some of the stuff I picked up. But today is one of the more interesting finds, I think, because this is from Daiso. For those of you that don't know, Daiso is the equivalent of a dollar store. Everything in Daiso is 100 yen, which at the time of this recording is roughly 68 cents with the exchange rate. And I was surprised they had this. I went in there to get some snacks, so I didn't actually record me picking up the paint. Probably should have, but car's outside. Um... But they had almost nothing left. This was the only oil paint they had on a completely empty wall. But to be fair, it was Tokyo and it was a Saksa, which was a big, busy area. A lot of people. So maybe, maybe it just wasn't on a good stock day. Um, they had acrylic paint and they had watercolor and that you can expect to find cheaply. But also this was six, roughly 68 cents per tube and they're only 20 milliliters and if you do kind of calculate a little bit the uh the shitty paint like Crilando, you can get a box of that like multiple colors for nine bucks so maybe this is on par but the thing is daiso in japan at least is known for having quality cheap goods like you're not supposed to get shit out of a daiso um but there's no, is that, no, there's no pigment information anywhere on this tube. Just says conform to SDM, Viridian, um, e, paint takes 7 to 10 days to dry. Um, and there's no, no really just warnings in Japanese and English. Soybean oil, which is an unusual, soybean oil and pigment, but which pigment it is, it's not telling us. Um, so yeah. Viridian was the only color I can get there at the time, and we are going to take a comparison with Williamsburg Viridian. This is all I got. We'll see if I can get any actual paint out of this thing, and that's that's pretty much what we're doing. There are Daisos in the United States, but hardly any of them. Do I have to rip this open? No, there's, there's a flap. I found a flap. There's a few in Manhattan. Is there anything? No. There's a few in New York City. There's a couple in California. I've never actually been in one in the United States. So we're just gonna... Maybe they have them here too, but I doubt it. Oh, okay. Okay. I see how it is, but... There we go. There. Okay. We're doing this live. I don't care. Hey, we got a little bit of flap. Come on. I don't want to put this into an edit point. I just want to get this done. <laughs> Why is this so difficult? Okay. There we go. We did it. We did it, everybody. We did it. Yay! Okay. Now let's get it out of this little tube. Ugh, it's making some noises. Ugh. <laughs> okay, it's been in there for a while. Judging by all that oil that just came out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Transparency. Yes. But maybe it's because I just mixed it with too much oil. Can we get some, get some, get some outside of the oil? Is that gonna... Ugh, no, that's not much better at all. Okay. We're gonna mix some titanium white into this. But, Okay. 68 cent oil paint, uh, arguably, there we go, we're just using some, what is, Michael Harden titanium white number one, yeah, it's Michael Harden titanium white number one, there's a number two, and it does mildly different things, um, the white's going to overtake the Viridian, I think, but it is, it's not like completely terrible, I mean, other than, than the transparency, but it's like a little bit watery, but that's fine. Okay, we gotta clean that off now. I have no idea what pigment this is. <laughs> it said nothing. Google Translate and my limited Japanese knowledge had nothing. 
garbage noises. Okay, now let's see if we can get any Viridian out of this extremely used Williamsburg, possibly from a sample pack, not for resale. Um, where's the pigment on this thing? Pigment, PG-18, there we go. Now I know what we're working with. That is a completely different shade. That is much darker, but at least we got something out. Pleased with that. Mostly I mix my own greens, so I usually don't have a big stock. Yeah. <laughs> that is a completely different color. I don't know what Viridian Daiso is using, but, but no. That's a different pigment. There we go. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Come on, cap close. Thank you. Ah. No, that is a completely different pigment. <laughs> I cannot say what pigment Daiso is using. But no, <laughs> it is not whatever Williamsburg is using. Um, if your Daiso happens to have oil paints, uh, fun for kids. Why would kids be using oil paints? I do not recommend oil paints for kids. Start them on acrylics. But um, it exists. Uh, most of the other paints that I got on the trip are actually higher quality, I should hope, because they came from actual stores and not car going by. And not the 100 yen store. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm giving this a solid D minus. <laughs> Cause I don't know what pigment it's using. There's no pigment listed anywhere on it. Just says oil paints. Um, but it was very, very cheap. It was in fact very, very cheap. Now that this is flat, we take a better look. Seven to 10, ten days to dry. Uh, keep out of reach of infants apparently. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and it uses soybean oil, which is unusual for oil paints. And yeah, D, D minus. Uh, yeah, next for the next few weeks is just going to be a solid number of Japanese paints. I tried to record actual going to this higher end art stores, and they all told me no, you're not allowed, no video. So I have a lot of B-roll, but no actual A-roll. If you want to see some B-roll of just 5 to 10 second clips of random Japanese stuff, let me know. Maybe I'll just make a clip of B-roll. Um, yeah. And that's, that's what we got today, folks. Thank you for watching. Um, I do not recommend. I do not recommend the Daiso paint. Thank you. Goodbye.